Hey friends, Clayton Phillips here from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm excited to be able to shoot a fly-through video on the fully redesigned 28BH Reflection by Grand Design RV. And not only is it a floor plan change, but we've got a body style change. And what I mean by that is the exterior uh, look, the coloring, the interior cabinetry, countertops. Grand Design has done a full redesign on the ever popular 28BH. The trailer actually got a little bit longer because through feedback, of Grand Designs always listening to their customers. Uh, people wanted to have a little bit more floor space in the bunk room, so that's actually where they grew the trailer. Uh, very similar, actually exactly the same bunk model layout to the 290BH in the 150 series. The difference is that this is gonna be a little heavier, you get a few more bells and whistles on it, uh, but more for a three quarter ton truck, gas at the bare minimum with the right truck. Always check your payload capacities, your tow capacities, make sure your vehicle can handle handle uh, whatever trailer you're looking at um, so you know just make sure of that but they do build this layout without the wardrobe slide in a half ton towable as well so if you don't have a three-quarter ton truck we do have another model available um, so again we're, we're here in uh, in Leduc Alberta Canada uh, shooting this video and we're gonna jump into some of the build techniques the construction things that Grand Design does we're gonna probably miss some things but uh, hopefully you get a good uh, good take on this on this floor plan one of the things I really like about this layout folks is that you do not have a slide out on the entry side of your trailer so if you're into more provincial style camping provincial campgrounds are a little tighter more rustic campgrounds you don't have a slide out on the entry side of your trailer eating up camping space and so you get a really big awning this is a 21 foot power awning you get a beautiful camp space the outdoor kitchen and when we jump inside you'll see right away just how bright this trailer is but starting up front true to form for grand design they put structure caps on all of their trailers that have front caps on them the structure cap is very very important it's a more rigid front cap than what you see with some of the other products in the industry grand design through how they laminate their product the engineering how they build their products uh, they're a very very much a squarely built trailer and you'd be shocked how many RVs in the industry are not built square I pull trailers all different shapes and sizes between our dealerships from sometimes and I got to tell you folks that the grand design product in my experience and I've told hundreds of trailers over the years is the best tracking fifth wheel on the market they are so very well balanced with the proper hitch weight percentages on the back of the vehicle to prevent from sway all of those sorts of things so uh, if you're into doing some traveling and you want a nice easy to tow fifth wheel grand design would be a good one to check out but again right up front structure caps fully insulated front cap you get an r40 up here it's just showing you the uh, the underneath storage here where you can do your uh, set up a series of batteries it does come with one vented battery box up front between the landing legs here lots of storage again grand design is known for their storage folks so you have a fully unobstructed pass-through storage compartment they've been that way in all of their fifth wheels since grand design's inception if you've seen it with a lot of products in the industry it's cheaper to build them this way with plumbing running down the middle of your compartment grand designs having to reroute the plumbing in creative ways to make sure that the the fluid flowing through the lines flows properly down it's all done by gravity of course and so um, by doing an unobstructed pass-through storage compartment you're just able to bring a whole lot more gear with you camping gear today is a whole lot more over oversized and you know people are packing portable fire pits better barbecues folding tables many camping chairs and with grand design products their storage compartments are typically a lot bigger the other thing folks uh, grand design thinking vinyl decking here so you know if you spill something on the inside it's a little bit wet it's not going to absorb into a carpeted compartment that we see with a lot of the other products being used why a lot of manufacturers use carpet is because it's a cheaper product <clears throat> but it will also hide in all of the, the the imperfections in the in the flooring and the way things put together when you do a vinyl decking uh, you have to be very precise uh, with how you manufacture the product and that's what grand design is all about is precision the other thing when you look up here this is a heated compartment that's a heat plenum so that's where the heat travels to get up in the heat up into your bedroom and bathroom area but you can see that heat duct right here but with grand design all aluminum strapping that's all welded together there's typically more aluminum tubes they're taller thicker gauge 
uh, deeper, you know, longer bead welding that they do on their on their aluminum framing. So a very, very rigid structure, very solid when you're walking in on the upper deck upstairs, okay? Um, the utility compartment that Grand Design uses is the Nautilus P1 system. It's color-coded, it's first class. There are, this, this, this component does many things. Uh, utilizing the water with inside the trailer, you can do a power tank fill. So if you're getting low on water and you're dry camping, you don't wanna move the trailer, you can literally get a bucket of water using your water pump and suck it into your fresh water tank, which is 60 gallons, by the way, on this particular trailer. Uh, winterization is all done through here. The bypass for your hot water heater is all done through these valves. So there's no more pulling false panels off on the inside of your trailer, getting on your hands and knees with a head flashlight trying to, to winterize your trailer. Uh, it's done so much easier with this product. There's also a water pump switch up top here. so. You know, if you're pulling it out of the uh, provincial campground and you want to drain your tanks and you want to wash up, you're not having to go inside the trailer to turn your water pump on and off. You can do it right from the convenience of your uh, utility center here. Uh, front cap lights, this little red switch here will activate some really nice blue lights underneath your slide out. I'll just show you that. So what's nice about that is at night, uh, it's a less obtrusive light. So, um, you know, it's not going to, it's not a big floodlight beaming in your neighbor's window, which is really nice, but it helps illuminate. So if you're walking around this side of the slide out, uh, you know, it's going to illuminate. You're not going to necessarily, you know, bang your head on the bottom of your slide out, those sorts of things. Okay. You've got the uh, auto leveling system on this. It's the Lippert 3.0 system. It has the automatic return feature on it. It's a four point system. So you do get the auto level, which makes, you know, leveling out your trailer a whole lot nicer uh, when you're getting backed in and set up at your camp space. So really, really nice storage compartments. Lots of things going on here. Thicker baggage doors, metal latches that Grand Design uses. This particular one has the gas struts on it. Uh, floor plan specific, of course. Your appliances, Grand Design is always about going the extra step, oversizing your appliances. So your hot water heater is gas and electric. Uh, it's a six gallon tank, but with both gas and electric on at the exact same time, you get 17.8 gallon quick recovery. So, you know, multiple people can hop in one after another and have showers. Uh, you're not having to wait every time between showers for that water to heat back up. The other thing, 35,000 BTU furnace. Grand Design is all about consistency. Less part numbers on the assembly line makes a better quality built product. And so Grand Design uses that 35,000 BTU furnace on many of their products, okay? And the nice thing about that 35,000 BTU furnace is that it will heat up your trailer a whole lot quicker versus a 25,000 that you find with a lot of others. So just showing you the underbelly of the trailer here, fully enclosed, heated underbelly. Uh, your tanks are heated two ways now with grand with the reflection one with furnace heat each each tank has a dedicated heat duct that blows heat down into that enveloped holding tank cavity the other thing that's new for the new redesigned body style heat blankets thermostatically controlled 12 volt uh, there's a switch on the inside of your uh, trailer there that you can activate those heat blankets as well so very very good on the winterization they've added this nice docking light or, or light for you know if you got to drain your tanks at night and get up underneath your trailer which is nice there's the the tube for your sewer hose as well so really nice also the drain for your fresh water tank is a gate valve it's not a, a a cap that goes in the bottom of a half half inch water line so very very easy to reach down and pull that gate valve to to drain your your fresh water tank also grand design um, you know no dark hole underneath their their slide outs that you're still we're still seeing a lot of the other manufacturers use dark hole is a woven fabric they stick it to the bottom of the slide out to help seal in the wood decking um, grand design uses a bonded material the issue with the dark hole is that with the friction of the slide moving in and out the dark hole over time will open up we've seen it many times where your wood decked floor and your slide out is exposed to moisture intrusion grand designs doing all the right things to help reduce those things from happening okay uh, your running gear on this trailer um, is a, a 16 inch tire Westlake lion's head tire comes with a five-year warranty um, like I said 16 inch tire but you've got the Dexter towing system so with the Dexter towing system you get that five-year warranty on your axles you have the never adjust brakes the easy lube hubs you can do a full wheel bearing repack right in your very own driveway saving yourself hundreds of dollars uh, rather than getting us to do it. We'd love to do it for you and make some revenue in our, our service department, but with that easy lube hub, you can definitely do it right in your driveway. <clears throat> okay, Grand Design, 
first manufacturer since their inception uh, to come out with a three-year structural warranty. They wanted to be different. They wanted to provide a, a, a superior product. The nice thing is they built their product to support the three-year structural warranty. And what I mean by that is Grand Design utilizes a process in how they manufacture their walls called lamination. And lamination creates the strongest, lightest weight type of material or, or, or paneling for your walls in the industry, okay? The rear walls are laminated, the slide end walls are laminated, your main walls are laminated. A lot of manufacturers claim that they have a laminated trailer, but they may laminate their main wall, but then they'll hang the rest of their walls. Grand Design block foam insulation in all of their vertical wall panels, fully bead welded together all the aluminum tubing. The other thing that Grand Design does where a lot of manufacturers hold back is framed in window openings. So if you're to take any window out of any Grand Design trailer, doesn't matter what brand it is, it's actually framed in. So that clamp ring window bites down onto something solid versus uh, you know foam. A lot of products, you take the window out, all you see is foam. They do that to save money and weight. The other thing that Grand Design does, wherever you see an exterior fastener on a corner mold like this the aluminum tube that's laminated within the sidewall has a wood dowel stuffed in it and that's very important because the screws are all steel and in a hollow aluminum tube as your trailers flexing and stressing going down the road over time that steel screw will wear that hole a little bit bigger and that's where squeaks and rattles and and moldings can pull away um, those sorts of things start to occur moisture intrusion those types of things so grand design is really putting the build and structure into their rv to help you know the trailer stand the test of time they you're making a massive investment in your RV and they don't want you to have to deal with delamination issues that simply are caused because of poor manufacturing grand designs go on the extra step okay the other thing if there isn't an aluminum tube for example these uh, screws here don't go into an aluminum tube okay they actually laminate a sheet of steel within that sidewall so that that steel screw bites down into something solid with a sheet of steel and uh, that, I mean this ladder we're gonna climb up on the roof and I'm gonna show you some things with the roof as well but if you're a 250 300 pound person I encourage you to try climbing up the ladder on a Grand Design trailer the ladder is solid as solid can be so uh, lots of good things that Grand Design does where other manufacturers hold back if you're comparing floor plans uh, identical floor plans from one brand to another brand that grand you know isn't built by grand design grand design products are typically a little bit heavier because it's all the things that you can't see that they're putting into their products where other manufacturers hold back okay at the very back of the trailer you do have the 3,000 pound hitch uh, you can pull a boat, small boat behind, a flat deck with a quad. You do get the flat four wiring here as well. So, you know, if you're wanting to do a B train, you can do it or just slide a bike rack in there and put the kids' bikes on there. The other thing with this trailer is you do get the outdoor spray port as well. So it does come with the coiled blue hose that would click in there and you can set up a real nice outdoor cook area uh, underneath the awning here of your, your brand new reflection 28BH. Uh, this one does have the outdoor kitchen and one thing that Grand Design really ha uh, does a nice job with is that every single outdoor kitchen that Grand Design produces um, is covered by the main awning so that they want you to be able to use the awning or sorry the outdoor kitchen when when it's raining uh, there are a lot of products in the industry and just buyer beware a lot of manufacturers will put on a cheaper awning a shorter awning and your outdoor kitchen is exposed to the elements so if it starts to rain you know you're not using your outdoor kitchen on this particular model because you do have one of the largest power awnings in the industry on this 28 bh you can set up a giant gigantic outdoor uh, patio area you get a great big patio mat you can set up your picnic table your patio chairs you know a really nice outdoor cook area you've got an amazing space to be able to extend your your inside living outside and really enjoy the great outdoors so really doing a nice job uh, they've changed their awning for the new 2020 body style they've gone to the the Solaire Lippert Solaire awning what I like about this awning folks is tilting the roller tube is just reach up and pull down it's no more sliding arms tightening you know knobs pushing buttons adjusting it having to put it back it's literally you just reach up here and pull down 
and that puts a tilt to your roller tube. So what's nice about that is if it starts to rain, you can adjust what way you want the water to flow off what end of the awning you'd prefer. Or if you're you know, camping and the sun's starting to drop down below the awning skirt here, you can lower both sides to give yourself a little more shade coverage, uh, which, is, which is nice. So <clears throat> again, nice shot of the tires there, 16 inch, like I mentioned, does have the Dexter suspension on it here as well. So what's nice about that is this allows the tires to more free flow within the wheel well. You know, a lot of times people are towing their trailers down gravel roads with potholes, through campgrounds with speed bumps, all of those sorts of things. And what this system does is it really helps create a much smoother ride, less road vibration going up inside your trailer. It's just a really, really slick uh, towing system. And again, North American made, um, standing, you know, back with a, just an absolutely superb warranty. So you do get a bad, uh, outdoor propane quick connect here on the, on the entry side, that little white tag hanging there. That's where your propane quick connect is. There's a leg for your uh, auto leveling system. Uh, you do have new the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, coax cable connections. If you want to set up an outdoor entertainment center, watch your sp favorite sporting event, uh, you can definitely do that. Lend a hand, grab handles. I always encourage our customers to take a measuring tape with you when you go RV shopping. You'll find Grand Design puts on a taller and wider entry door. What's nice about that is if you're doing the laundry hamper full of food from the home into the trailer getting ready to go camping, less chance of you wrapping your knuckles off the, 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 the door frame going in and out of the trailer, carrying larger items, those sorts of things. This one does have the triple entry step on it. Now Grand Design on the reflection folks, floor plan specific, they're still using the, you know, what we would call an old school step buyer beware there's a great a lot of benefits to a solid step on the reflection they're using this uh, still what I really like about the old school step folks is it's much easier to get in and out of the trailer uh, in terms of you're not having to fold the step down every time you really have to be aware of those flip out steps because if you're parked in a tight area sometimes the steps do not radius out in order to get in and out of the trailer. Um, the other thing is you're always forever having to wipe your stairs off before you flip, uh, flip the stairs inside. So with the reflection folks, yes, it's the old school step. It flips underneath the trailer, but there is a lot more flexibility with it. You can literally do a laundry hamper full of uh, food without the steps folded out, open your door and set it on the floor inside. With those steps that fold up inside the trailer, you just don't have that ability anymore. So again, pick your poison, what you prefer. Um, Personally, if it was me picking, I'd be going after this step just because, uh, you know, it's, it's a proven step and it works really, really good. Okay, again, another shot of the uh, pass-through storage compartment here. Okay, all the vinyl decking, you can just see how clean it is, motion sensor lighting. You do have porthole access here. So, you know, if you have an extension cord, you want to plug it in some, you know, you got a Margaritaville machine or a portable coffee maker or something along those lines, uh, you can keep your compartment locked and closed and plugged in. They have added a cool little uh, pet anchor here. So if you have a, uh, a tether for your puppy, you can uh, hook that on right there. And then you've got your battery disconnect switch as well. So again, Grand Design doing all the right things, folks. 28 BH. Uh, other fun facts for you on this particular floor plan, 1,545 pound hitch weight. Um, I know a lot of the half tons, they say the payloads are up over 2,000 pounds or beyond. Um, your call, what you want to do, of course. Um, they do have a half ton towable option with a lighter hitch weight, which if you have a half ton, I'd recommend going with the 290 BH just to be on the safe side. Um, the other thing, 60 fresh, like I mentioned, 86 gallon gray, gray water capacity, 43 gallon black. So they've boosted some of their tanks and uh, away you go, length 34 feet, eight inches. I'm gonna rip back over to the weight badge here on this side so that you can see the actual dry weight of this particular model here. Okay, so as it sits, the unloaded vehicle weight, if you see that, UVW, 9,310 pounds, okay? Your GVWR is 10,995 pounds, which gives you a cargo carrying capacity of 1,625 pounds, okay? Keep in mind, depending on the floor plan, 
any weight you put in the trailer is going to transfer typically anywhere between 10% to 20% onto the hitch weight of the trailer. So for every 100 pounds you put in the trailer, you're going to be transitioning approximately 10 to 20 pounds onto your hitch, which goes into the payload capacity of your truck. So again, know your weights, know your capacities. We do do test pulling here. So if you're concerned about if whether or not your truck can pull what you're looking at, um, we can do a test pull. So we're gonna jump up on the roof and spend a little bit of time up there, just a sec. Hey there friends, we're back. We're on the roof of this 28BH Reflection. Um, we're gonna talk, talk, touch a little bit of things that they do. Grand Design walk on roofs on all of their trailers. Their roof, the way they manufacture their ceilings and their roofs, folks, is the exact same in all of their products. 16 inch on center wood truss roof. With wood decking, they'd use a TPO Alpha Superflex. The, that's the rubber membrane that you see, or the vinyl membrane. Uh, Grand Design, there's different levels of TPO material. Grand Design uses the Alpha Superflex. And why that's important is they, the, a roof of an RV is not perfectly flat. And by going with the Superflex, it allows a little more flexibility. Uh, with the roof membrane, it's going to stand the test of time a little bit better where it radiuses over the side onto the sidewall, where it transitions from the roof down towards the front cap. You want to have a little bit more flexible material up here so that the material lays flatter on the roof. If you have more of a rigid material, uh, it's not going to lay as flat. Um, it's going to show more creasing and bubbling over time, those sorts of things. So with Grand Design, they're using that upgraded Alpha Super Flex TPO roof membrane. The nice thing about it is it doesn't chalk like the old EPDM rubber uh, does. It doesn't hold mold and mildew and those sorts of things like the old EPDM rubber. So, you know, less chance of those ugly black streaks coming down the side of your trailer. Um, the other thing, Grand Design, the sealant that they use, folks, they lay it on thick. Okay, they go the extra step with their roof sealant. So with a lot of manufacturers out there, folks, you'll find they chintz out on the, on the sealant that they use. Grand Design is laying it on thick, which is really, really nice. It's a self-leveling die-core or lap sealant, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> That's what they're using. The other thing, uh, you have a, a domed uh, TV antenna now. It's not the old T model where you'd crank the handle and it would lift up into a T up on your roof. Tree branches love gobbling those things up. So Grand Design's gone to the wine guard system here that uh, is more protected. The other thing that Grand Design does, folks, is they put attic vents inside their trailers. And that's what this puppy is right here. Okay, they want your roof to breathe. In the summertime, when the heat is beating down on your trailer, attics can trap heat if you don't allow that air to escape. Grand Design's put in this particular model as dual attic vents in it so it really breathes exceptionally well. It's going to help keep the trailer cooler as well. That's the nice thing about their wood trusses as well as it has a higher tensile strength but a much better thermal barrier than what you would get with an aluminum truss or a steel truss which we find with some of the products. Propane heat folks uh, has moisture in it and in the colder temperatures you want your roof to be able to breathe because heat rises and if you get moisture trapped in your roof that's where you can start to develop some issues steel truss you start to get those rust spots on the inside those sorts of things so uh, the wood truss roof higher tensile strength screw retention as well uh, most roofs in the industry nowadays are a trust roof if you have a trust or an arched aluminum tube you can't stuff it with a wood dowel so if you're using a steel screw through a wood deck into a hollow aluminum tube a lot of times folks that screw over time will start to back out out uh, or pull out and all of a sudden you got a hole in your roof from a screw back and out or popping out on you so with Grand Design you don't have to worry about those things happening much much stronger takes a snow load up here in Canada we get a you know heavy snow sitting on the roofs of the trailers in the uh, in the winter time in the spring it melts and it gets quite heavy I'm gonna jump down onto the roof of this slide out here folks so um, Grand Design known for their lamination and their slide outs I'm showing you here. I'm standing on the slide out here. So um, full walk on slide boxes. This is a fully laminated, fully insulated, aluminum framed, fully bead welded uh, wall panel, just like the main sidewall is. So very, very, very strong. That's what Grand Design's known for is going above and beyond in their build structure and how they put their, their trailers together. So now I've spent a bunch of time up on the roof, but your roof folks, is something that's vitally important to the quality and the longevity of your trailer. Again, you're making a massive investment. Invest in a product with a manufacturer that does the right thing with your roof. I promise you, you will be thanking me for it uh, if you invest in a product like this because they do stand the test of time uh, and those sorts of things. 
So again, they want you to be able to climb up on the roof to be able to sweep off the top of your slide outs. They want you to be able to climb up on your roof to be able to, you know, do some roof sealant touch-ups, change a roof vent if necessary. A lot of products in the industry, folks, more so on the lightweight travel trailers, do not have walk-on roofs. Okay, we'll see you inside. All right, guys, we're back, heading inside the 28BH. I'm just gonna give you a little shot to the inside here. Dinette slide with the uh, 12 cubic foot Norcold refrigerator. Great big window. That's one thing, another thing that Grand Design's known for is the size of their windows. Two things, one, Grand Design's not afraid to spend the money to put a big window in. Secondly, they have the structure in the sidewall to support a big window, okay? A lot of manufacturers, they just simply don't put the structure in to be able to have big windows like they do. Grand Design wants you to be able to look outside, bringing the outside in, giving you that unbelievable visibility and just open airy feel on the inside. But uh, we're just gonna show you here. This is from the bunk room looking forward. That dinette does fold down into a very large bed. Cool update for this year actually, folks, is they did reversible cushions. So these back cushions got a really nice plaid detail on it if you want to warm up the interior or you don't want the little ones beating up the lighter color there, you just spin that around. So they're really thinking, giving you some, some variations, some options to be able to, you know, set up your trailer the way you want. The other thing that's new for this year, um, actually the last body style had this as well, but MC, MCD roller shades. So really nice blackout shade versus the uh, the pleated shade with the strings that come down the side. They usually mount a little button in here, screw it into the wall. Sometimes those pull out, the strings stretch. We're forever having to hoop that string around to keep the blinds up. So they're really updating uh, with the uh, with the MCD roller shades, which which is nice. So but great big dinette. You got a trifold couch. This will flip down into a bed as well. You got the hutch storage above with shelving. Just show you this. It's one thing Grand Design does is they put shelves inside their, their cabinetry. So a lot of times you'll get double the amount of storage, especially above your kitchen sink here. This is another spot where some manufacturers will raise the cabinets up, open it up. It's just empty space. Grand Design, they lower it down, giving you easier access, but then they also add that shelf in there, giving you tons and tons of storage. Okay. Again, you've got the, the new tile backsplash. That's a new update for the, the new body style. They're still putting in the great big basin sink. Flip up counter extension. The, the, cat, the countertops are lighter this year as well. Okay, they've gone to a shaker style cabinet door. Typically, and this is again where Grand Design known for things, going the extra step. Uh, they want to have a really nice solid cabinet. Um, especially in the doors. The shaker style cabinet doors are flat panel doors in the industry. Historically, this is just a little thin piece of wood and they're not very strong, okay? Um, Grand Design wanted to come up with a more modern, more contemporary type cabinet and feel on the inside of their trailer. In order to get a thicker, stronger door, you typically have to have a raised panel here, which kind of somewhat dates the interior a little bit. Uh, this is more of a modern, up, you know, uh, newer style look. So what Grand Design did was, well, let's just flip that raised panel around because they didn't want to give up the nice structure, the solid closing, opening and closing door. If you look at it, just a standard uh, flat panel door, when you open and close it, it's real flimsy and cheap. Grand Design, if you notice, they did the raised panel on the inside because they still wanted to give you a very good quality cabinet door. The other thing they did was they went to a hidden style hinge. Okay, so very, very solid, hides it out of the way versus just a cheaper exposed style hinge and just gives you a really nice high end look. You know, this reflection folks, there are a lot of products in the industry that are high profile that would compete more at the same level of what a solitude is, which is the big brother to the reflection. But this is built just like a solitude. And in a lot of cases, far superior built to what the other products in the industry compete with the solitude. And I'm not gonna name names, but uh, the key to throwing the stone is that, you know, Grand Design is going the extra step. They have a, a golden thread of consistency that is interwoven between all of their brands that you get. They want to simplify things. They want to standardize things, which just really helps out with the quality and overall build of the product and, you know, standing the test of time. So jumping into the bunk room here, I know I'm talking a lot here again. Um, 
transition the bunk room it used to have a little step up here with two double over double beds again they stretch the trailer a little bit but still giving you the same sleeping capacity you got the big double bed on the bottom here the l-shaped beds up top lots of windows really cool idea is they strengthen the shelving here it used to have a flip out uh, in the old bunker in the 290 had a flip up flip out ladder and you've seen those they flip out and sit on the floor they turned the shelving into the ladder steps which gives you better access to the storage in behind so really really smart plus it gives you the finger hold here for the kids to climb up and down and just a really nice setup you got four big drawers here and then two great big drawers here so spot for a tv if you wanted to mount one up there a couple of hooks pocket sliding door great spot for getting changed those sorts of things so beautiful bunk room again grand design dna item no heat ducts in the floor folks okay especially bunk models those sorts of things uh disadvantage to heat ducts weaker floor as time progresses uh, what heats your tanks is radiant heat, which really doesn't do a whole lot um, in our market, especially where it's a little colder out. Uh, the other thing, those heat ducts turn into dust collectors, dog food collectors, Cheerios go down there, dirt and debris when you're sweeping out the inside of your trailer. This, this trailer has a one piece floor. There's no seams in it whatsoever, uh, which is really, really nice. So greatly reduces the chances of squeaking and rattling developing. The other thing you'll find a lot of heat ducts in the floor right in front of your couch or sofa okay if you have guests and you want to flip that out into a bed and you have a heat duct billowing heat up underneath that bed you can imagine in some cases how uncomfortable your guests would be um, so just things to consider again motion sensor lighting up on the inside of the trailer when you enter and exit the trailer uh, convenience center really nice and close that's one of the things grand design does they want to give you easy access to when the slides are closed your uh, converter panel your breaker panels are just right behind the couch here so easy to access with the slide closed but the tank heaters that's one of the new features 12 volt heat blankets that are thermostatically controlled uh, for your for the belly of your trailer as well so furnace heat and tank uh, tank heaters blankets 12 volt heat blankets for your tanks so really go on the extra step so no carpet on the steps jumping up here oh yeah uh, max air fan here uh, switch this is the remote for it and then in your living area you've got that max fan with the rain sensor built right in so get rid of that that heat if you're cooking that moisture outside the trailer bathroom got the flow through door going into the bunk uh, ba uh, master bedroom from the one side but pretty standard bathroom that grand design uses in their trailers we'll just give you a shot stainless steel sink lots of storage good counter space you get the vanity here above your your kitchen or your bathroom sink sorry again totally framed in door openings for your your bathroom there's no big gaps above the door below the door they build these things precise porcelain foot flush toilet real nice shower you do get the um, linen cabinet here so cool thing you can actually remove this shelf if you want hanging storage they do give you the hanger rod right there or you can you know stack your towels in there they give you an extra drawer right there as well so lots of flexibility with their with their storage closet you get four drawers on this slide out too which is nice shelf for putting things with the window get some good cross ventilation what i really like about the reflection fifth wheel bedroom is it gives you very much a residential feel uh, you get nightstands on either side of your bed there's a 110 plug on each side so if you sleep with a CPAP machine you can plug it in right up top here I'll zoom in on it you've got a USB connection dual USB connection with this shelf that goes from one side to the other so his and her cell phone charging that you can do makes it really easy keeps the cable up out of the way uh, which makes it really really nice but there's no cabinets a lot of manufacturers they run cabinetry down either side of the bed and it literally feels like you're sleeping in a tunnel so if you're a bit claustrophobic this bedroom would help you know reduce the chances of that claustrophobia kicking in uh, which is nice i like to sleep with my bed my arm hanging off the side of the bed so uh, it just makes sleeping a whole lot nicer you know your nose isn't two inches from a wall so padded headboard jump into the other side here residential size beds in all of their trailers folks so 60 inches wide 80 inches long and uh storage underneath <clears throat>
So if you got a mattress topper, you don't quite like the mattress, you want to put a mattress topper on, all the mattress toppers produced are built for residential size beds for the most part, or the fitted sheets, right? Your, your bedding you get is all designed to fit on residential size beds. This is a residential size bed, which is nice. So this pretty much covers the 28BH. I know I've gone long-winded on a lot of things, but you're getting a really deep walkthrough on this particular floor plan. We've done some amazing things with this layout, folks. Lots of customers have these in the field and loving them today. Great towability. The quality is there. Um, come on down to our dealership. Our address is 8012 Sparrow Crescent, Leduc, Alberta, Canada. Our phone number is 780-986-1234. We're in Leduc. If you can't make it to Leduc, we understand. Of course, we'd love for you to come. But if you can't make it, we have five dealerships in Alberta. We've got one in Saskatoon. We've got one coming in Abbotsford, BC. So we are Western Canada. We support our customers through Western Canada with one of our dealerships. We're here to take care of you. Our mission is this, to enhance lifestyles by providing leading edge products supported by a team of professionals committed to exceeding our customers' expectations. We live that every day. Uh, we, we, it's what guides us. And uh, hey, I'm not gonna say we're perfect, but you know what? We put our best foot forward every time and we just wanna come alongside you in your RV shopping journey. So again, give us a shot. My name's Clayton Phillips. I'm here at Woody's RV World in Leduc. And uh, you just checked out the new 28BH, new body style by Grand Design. Take care, happy camping.